So everyone is looking and thinking of ways to make more money, and we all think that the grass is greener on our neighbor's lawn. But do flatbed drivers actually make a lot more money than Van Reefer drivers? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how much flatbed drivers actually make. We'll talk about the local drivers, the highway drivers, and we'll also talk about owner operators. How much of a pay increase is it from Vans Reefers going into the flatbed division? We'll also talk about a couple of recent polls that I've conducted where I took over 3,000 truck drivers and ask them some questions in regards to why they refuse to work for the flatbed division. So, without further ado, let's get started. So we'll break this video down into three parts. First, we'll talk about the local drivers and what their pay difference is. Then we'll get into the long haul truck drivers and talk about what their pay difference is. And then we'll talk about the owner operators and see what van reefer drivers versus flatbed drivers make. And then we'll get into the polls. All right, so let's get started. The local drivers. So as you probably know, most local positions pay hourly. And when you're doing van reefers, you're probably anywhere between $23 to $25 an hour. Maybe some jobs pay $26 to $27 an hour on the higher end, but van drivers for class one drivers usually make anywhere between $23 to $27 per hour. Now, when you're getting into the flatbed stuff, so flatbed local drivers also get paid hourly, and then I see more of $28 to $32 per hour okay so there is your range for local drivers if you're doing vans van reefer versus if you're doing flatbed work now obviously flatbed work is very labor intensive and that's where one of our polls comes in just wait till the end so you can see the reason behind why drivers refuse to work in the flatbed division now long haul truck drivers primarily get paid per mile where the average i would say van reefer driver makes about 65 cents per mile and the average posting that i see for flatbed drivers are around 75 cents per mile mile. Now, can a flatbed driver produce the same amount of mileage as a Van Reefer driver? If I take the best flatbed driver in our fleet and I take also the best Van Reefer driver or the highest producing drivers, usually the highest producing van driver outpaces the highest producing flatbed driver. Again, maybe that's because of our lanes, but in our company, and I see in most companies, it's pretty much the same thing, where the van reefer driver, long haul driver, a single driver can probably do maximum about 13, 13 to max miles that they can do over the course of the month, where the flatbed driver I see probably maxes out at around 12, 12 to 12, 5, 12,500 miles would be their max. So I think that the van reefer driver can produce a little bit more mileage than a flatbed driver. And the last we'll talk about is the owner operators. So the owner operators that are getting paid gross earnings, today the national average for a van driver is about $2.14 per mile, where a flatbed driver is actually $2.45 per mile. Now I caution you because if you look at the fuel consumption on a van reefer driver versus a flatbed driver, the truck that is hauling the flatbed is actually burning more fuel than the truck that is hauling the van. Why? Because I mean, most loads that are tarped, most loads that are in the flatbed division, there is a wind drag that's a little bit more than in the van division. So the fuel consumption is a lot more. If you ask me for my guess, it's usually one mile per gallon more. So if a van reefer driver can drive at eight miles per gallon, the flatbed driver with the same routes will do it at seven miles per gallon. That's just my experience. That's just what I've seen. So yes, the flatbed loads pay more. The national average for flatbed loads is $2.45, and I'll post it up over here. This is the latest stats on DAT, um, and the van stats are $2.14. But also don't forget that the flatbed drivers spend a little bit more on fuel than the van drivers right now. That's really the pay difference between van drivers and flatbed drivers. Now, in the recent poll that I've conducted, here's the reasons behind why will they not consider working for the flatbed division. And here are their answers. 22% said that they do not want to tarp. 7% said that there's too much waiting time at the shippers and the receivers. 9% said, I don't want to chain and strap loads. And 4% said that they hate over dimensional loads. And then 59% said all of the above. So the majority of people, the reason that they do not want to work in the flatbed division, obviously is because it's very labor intensive. Now, a lot of the drivers that I talk to, the difference in pay, both for the regional and for the long haul and for the owner operator, when you're talking about you know an hourly rate of an extra $5 an hour for all this labor intensive work, a lot of people say that it's just not worth it. 
And when I talk to the long haul drivers, when they're saying that, okay, the pay difference is only 10 cents per mile, well, 10 cents per mile over the course of 11,000 miles, that's $1,100. That's really not that big of a difference to persuade the person to do all this labor intensive work, okay? And when it comes to the owner operator, owner operator is usually when I look at the pay difference, every 15 days, it's probably an extra $1,000 every pay for an owner operator, which is actually $2,000 at the end of the month. Now, is that enough for an owner operator to do all this labor intensive job? Well, then let's get into my second poll. It's no secret that people that have a sedentary lifestyle like myself and like truck drivers that are sitting for 12, 13, 14 hours a day behind the wheel or behind a desk, they suffer from a lot of pain in their body. Now, in a recent poll that I've conducted, again, with 3,000 different truck drivers, here's the results of that poll on what kind of pain they suffer from. 67% of truck drivers suffer from lower back pain. 7% suffer from upper back pain, 12% suffer from neck pain, 5% suffer from pain in their feet, and 9% suffer from shoulder pain. So the majority of the truck drivers suffer from either lower back pain and neck pain. So if you ask somebody that's already suffering from pain to do a job that doesn't pay that much more, to do a job that is extremely labor intensive and does not pay that much more, that's why you see a lot of drivers that are not being persuaded to go and work for a flatbed division. Now, if you do have any comments about my stats or about my polls or about the difference in pay that these flatbed drivers are making, please leave a comment down below. Now, I would really like to get your opinion on why you refuse to work in the flatbed division. Have you ever been offered a position to work for in a flatbed division and why did you refuse to work for it? Hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.